Welcome back. In this video, I'll discuss dynamic programming in the context of bioinformatics. We use pairwise sequence alignment when comparing two sequences, be they DNA, RNA, or protein sequences. During this procedure, we slide two sequences on top of one another to maximize their similarity. In order to further this, we introduce the insertion, deletion, and gap penalties. This was the rationale behind the pairwise sequence alignment. There are two different kinds of pairwise sequence alignment. Global alignment is the first, and local alignment is the second. We use a dot plot with one sequence written on top and the other written on the left to perform the sequence alignment. And a dot was added for each nucleotide that matched it. We are only able to locate matches in this matrix. We are unable to locate sequence insertion, deletion, or substitution. Insertions, deletions, and mutations change biological sequences. Therefore, we must alter this dot plot matrix to take insertions, deletions, and mutations into account. Now, numbers are used instead of matches. Before getting into the specifics, let's examine why dynamic programming is necessary. The fundamental justification for this theory is the computationally expensive and time-consuming nature of sequence comparison. The length of biological sequences makes them too time-consuming for computers to process. However, dynamic programming aids in lowering the sequence comparison's computational cost. The scorning function is the foundation of dynamic programming, which uses it to handle matches, mismatches, and gaps. There are three purposes for the scoring system. The first one is a match in which two nucleotides carry positive numbers and match one another. The second type is mismatch, which occurs when a mutation contains negative numbers. The third is a gap in the sequences caused by an insertion or deletion, and it also contains negative numbers. The sum of all assigned numbers equals the total score. Consider the following example. Every match is worth 10 points, and every mismatch penalty is worth minus 2 points. So, for each match in the table, add 10 points, and for each mismatch, subtract 2 points. There are now numerous sequences. However, we must find the best alignment among all of these sequences. Don't forget to subscribe for more informative videos and click the bell icon for the most recent ones.